little bit cold. Yes, I'm microwaving my coffee, but I made it like 10 minutes ago. So it's all good. Now today, it's gonna to be very interesting. I've got about four things that are very, very important that I need to do today, but they're not all code related. You must be the cutest dog ever. I've just started working on this big project with a lot of other team members within my company. It's predominantly Web3 front-end work. I'm building a ton of components that are going to be used within the authentication experience. Signing transactions, connecting wallets, doing pretty much everything you would do in a Web3 experience. Got a lot of work done, which is great, but I still need to finish some off in time for the cocktail evening tonight that my company's hosting in the city. So, better get started. In fact, what's the time? It's 8.44, okay, we're a little bit early, but we can always set up the office in the meantime. It's dark. Hey Google, turn on the office lights. I did set a preset in here. Every time that they turned on, they should be this nice kind of laid back, cool white tone rather than being all orange and... All right, get a little bit more light in here. Let's go standing up. My office is set up and looking good. Another question that I've been getting recently on the channel, especially in the comments, is would you upgrade to the M2 MacBook Pro? And the thing is, I got bought my MacBook M1 Pro for my work. They actually bought it for me to do all my work on. This is the one that you see right here. Massive upgrade from my last MacBook, which was the Pro Retina with the classic touch bar. But before I was at this job, that's the Mac that I worked on all day. And it was super slow in comparison to this one right here. This one is a powerhouse. The M2, I still haven't tried it. But Here's the best part. Today's video is sponsored by a company that's gonna help speed up your old MacBook Pros and even your super fast ones. Let me, sh let me show you how this works. Clean My Mac X is a program from the guys over at MacPoor. All you do, you go scan. The first thing it does is it goes through every single file on your computer, figuring out whether it's junk or not, finding unnecessary files that don't need to be on your computer. From one scan that took me literally 30 seconds, 35 gig, no threats, three speed performance tasks to run. All you do is you click run, watch this, cleaning your system. This might be the piece of software that speeds up your MacBook so you can code as fast as me. Put a link down in the description below so you guys can get a seven day free trial. But anyway, while this cleans my Mac, thank you very much to MacPool for sponsoring the video. Oh yeah. <sighs> What I would love to do in this office eventually is like put up big picture frames and you're like, here, let me show you. I want to put up like real nice picture frame art here and maybe even some stuff in the background like eventually that could be really cool. Anyway, I keep distracting myself. You guys are distracting me. Rocking FPI version by Felix, thanks for that. Um, the transaction signing um, and, and signature front end as well, so we've worked on that for the next couple of hours, and we'll see how we go. Alright, see you guys. Okay, we're good. So we just gotta keep cracking on. Get some components built, get a PR created, and then we should be on our way. So, I've done some good work on my components, about to submit a PR, so that's great. I've done the morning stand-up. However, there is a slight issue. I do have a cocktail party in the city. However, starting just an hour after, I do have a flume concert. Here's a question I have. Do I Uber into the city? Coffee's ready. You think I just stay home with you? We stay home together. Okay. There is one interesting thing though that I saw down in the comments a couple of times over the past few weeks. What is the best way to learn programming right now? By no means am I an expert. In fact, what I would say is if 
I had to answer three steps. Number one, I would choose what I actually want to be going into. Web development, gaming, AI, predominantly different languages. And it's up to you to do a little bit of research online for that. The second thing I would do, find free online resources on how I can learn those languages. For example, YouTube is where I did a lot of my learning. If you're not great at self-pacing and self-teaching yourself, you might want to go to university or college. The third thing I would do is build a portfolio. If you can build a portfolio that has like four to five, maybe even six, projects on there a Netflix clone you build a whatsapp clone you build a blockchain app to show that you can also do web 3 stuff I would just do those things choose what you want to be working in focus on the dominant language and then build a portfolio of four to five to maybe even six projects and start applying for jobs pretty much what I did one other thing as well that I just remembered that slows people down when they're learning how to code break big tasks into really small tasks it's one of the best pieces of advice I was ever given. The best thing you can do is just focus on one small tiny block. Because we're, we're definitely able to get this ready for them. This should be, should be good to go. I'll just make sure that there's real data flowing through all of this. Sounds great. Okay, cool. So if they send through just the signature, it's only gonna show. And then I guess in the future, um, once. Okay, cool. Sounds great. All right, just got off a call with one of the guys who are overarching the work that I'm doing. Super happy with all the work so far, but yep, we've got some brand new work to get started on. Time for some, you guessed it, tuna and rice. Now someone in the comments last night said, did you just put like raw rice into the microwave for two minutes? No, this is microwavable rice. Guys, we're in 2023. Oh, it's 90 seconds. I've been cooking it for two minutes. It doesn't matter how much money I ever earn in my entire life. Tuna and rice is always gonna be my sweet spot. It's just so cheap, so easy. So I went to the supermarket last night and got two separate, hey, where's the other one? What? Oh, it's here. Man, I'm not used to the packaging. A plunger grind, which is very caffeinated. My favorite coffee, by the way. And then also, we've got this decaf. Funnily enough, this decaf costs more than the regular coffee. Seriously though, the M1 is more than capable. If you are on the fence between getting the M1 and the M2, it is more than capable. It's the best computer I've ever used. Yeah, maybe you could save yourself a few hundred dollars by getting the M1 instead of the M2. All right, we're gonna need some, oh no. We finished the mayo last night. Also, we got it imported to New Zealand because they don't have Chick-fil-A here. Problem is, it's full of sugar, this stuff. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Only seven grams. Mmm, do I do it? Oh, that's a bit weird. I don't know. Normally I put just regular mayo in, but... Okay, we're doing it. We're trying it out. I don't know how this is gonna be. It might be really good. Okay, the color of the sauce is making it look really weird. Oh, I have a meeting. <laughs> well. Hey guys. That's coming on along really well. I'm ahead of schedule for the prep building. It's actually quite nice looking because you, you've probably got quite familiar. Okay, yeah. bye guys. Bye. 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 Sweet. Another meeting done. A couple of more components to build. I think we might take Hemi for a walk. Hey. Oh, did I wake you up? You sleeping? Never seen this before. Just quickly apply to that. If you haven't already seen my uh, office setup video, my desk and my mouse and my keyboard and everything. This guy is an Iquinix F96 mechanical keyboard. Cherry blue switches, so it sounds like this. Sounds so good. I actually just got a Slack message, so I just got to reply to that one sec. But anyway, what I was saying is, I guess the more that this channel grows and the more money that's coming into it, not that I ever started it for money, but it's kind of cool that it is, um, I'm gonna be able to start doing giveaways. So that'll be really fun. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Thanks so much for supporting on the channel. But without further ado, let's go take Hemi for a walk because I think he deserves it. He's looking pretty tired. You a bit tired today.